What's going on, guys? Good morning, good morning. Let's get into this word. Um, got a quick, not well, not quick. I want to speak, speak on a few things that um, we are ignorant of what I was ignorant of at first, and um, you know, it kind of feels like you feel like almost like an alien knowing this stuff. You know, a lot of, I don't know anybody who knows these type of things and I've learned except for the people that I've learned from. So all I can do is spread it and make sure and try to spread it and hopefully people will receive it. But um, you know, everyone is not gonna, you know, receive it. And you know, it is we done so good at lying and you know, you know, um <clears throat> Trying to keep us blind, have the veil over our eyes, and to uh, walk in, in, in religiousness. You know, Jesus wasn't religious; he was spiritual. You know, there's a lot of things that we, we do reject that is spiritual, that is really that that is really for our own good, but we choose to reject it. So, the Lord already said, uh, "Those that uh, reject me, my knowledge, I will reject you." You know, reject your children. And, I, and of course, because of a lack of knowledge, we do crash. Because of a lack of knowledge, we do crash. Because a lot of things we don't know about is being used against us every day, all throughout the day, every year, every month, every week, whether we know it or not. So, um, if you go all the way back to Genesis 1 28, we tell you it, and it, it explains how God was speaking to Adam and Eve in the garden. He gave them, you know, rulership, kingship, lordship, dominion over everything that he gave them in, on the earth. You know, this, the um, animals, <clears throat> the sea, the water, the earth. So he said, I'll give you, um, I will multiply you, I will replenish you, and you will subdue the earth. You have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl, fowl of the air. You know, all the creeping things that creep upon the earth. So he says, subdue the earth. <clears throat> so he said, do the earth. You know, you have people, and before we go there, so it's so, subdued so earth, that means have dominion on earth, right? So, with that being said, a lot of us are suffering because we're, we're not fighting what we need to be fighting for, we're not using what God has given us, and that's authority and the dominion and the things which He's given us on the earth to use to yield increase, to bless us, to fail us. So if you go to Job 12, if you go to Job 12, this is a, this is a quick, quick example. So you go to Job 12 verses, let's go to, let's start at verse 5, and it says this. <clears throat> let's go to 4. It said, I am as one mocked of his neighbor who called upon God, and he answered them, and the just upright man is laughed to scorn. He did as ready to slip with his feet as a lamp, <clears throat> despised in the thought of him, and that is at ease. So, you know. The children of God are always have laughed at the scorn. Just like Noah. Noah, and if he prepared the ark, preparing for what was coming, he didn't know what was coming. He the ark of faith and got his house ready. But of course, he was telling everyone else to do the same. But, um, you know, he just laughed and looked, like, looked at him like he was crazy. So, you know, whenever it comes to the word of God, when we speak these things, we tell people what well, God has put us in our heart. We try to tell people to warn them on things that we see. Because, you know, God opens our eyes with his children. And we are here to spread it and watch them. We're supposed to be watching We wouldn't be watching if we were just kept it to ourselves. You know, it's like fire shutting your bones. It says in the mouth, it's like fire shutting your bones. We're holding the word to yourself. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, you don't do yourself any justice. Because when you keep it to yourself, there's blood on your hands. You know, this is like keeping up, keeping something to yourself that you know that it, that'll be detrimental. That is detrimental to people, and you keep it to yourself as if you wanted to wear it, save your own life. And the Lord already said in Revelation 12, those that are you know uh, seek their own life will lose it, but those that will lose their life for for um, for me, they will have life. They will have eternal life. So you can't be right on preserving your own life because you are scared or afraid to speak. What needs to be spoken of is what needs to be spoken of because, believe it or not, it's being used against everyone on earth, whether they know it or they not, or whether they know not. <clears throat> so, it says this I am as mocked of his neighbor who calleth upon God. He answered them, He that just a right man is left to scorn. 
So he that is ready to slip with his feet is as a lamp despised and other that, that is at ease. You have people that's walking, you have people that's at ease right now, even though destruction is evidently here in the sounds of what the Lord is saying is being spoken through the earth. So it said, um, the tabernacles of robbers prosper, and they that provoke God are secure. So, you know, it seems like, you know, it's just like, it seems like evil people get ahead, they live long, a long life, and it seems like the good, the children of God get cut off short, which is all we seen, right? You know, it seems like the wicked people will be 120 years old and the children of God, you know, they die at the age of 50 and 60. You know, we got to know that this earth, this earth is against us. You know, so the Lord already said, the world hate me, and the world hates you, just know it hate me. So this world hates us. <clears throat> so that's why it's so easy, it's much more easy for the wicked to live longer and to prosper because the enemy is not worried about them. You know, they're doing what the devil He's looking at them like, you, know, you already don't want to want you to do. You're being perverse, you're being evil, you're being a murderer, a gossip, a gangbanger, a, a prostitute, a porn star, a rapist, pedophile. It can go on, a witch or wizard. You know, it can go on on all these evil categories that you can, you know, basically put people in. That, uh, you know, the energy's like, I'm not worried about you. I, I want more people like you in this world. But, of course, these people that want to be righteous, I want to exterminate them. I want to get them out of here. So, you know, that's why it's so important we pray every day. It's going to come times and season where the enemy comes against you like a flood. But, you know, you got to rely on the spirit of the Lord of God. Because the Lord said when the enemy comes against you like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall raise up a standard. He will scatter your enemies. The Lord said in Deuteronomy 28, verses um, 11. I believe he said, he said, uh, he will cause your enemies to come against you one way. But it should be cemented before you get there. It should come out against you one way. But it should flee seven different ways. So that's the truth. But the green God, they shall always flee seven different ways. They, 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 they shall all be submitted, be submitted before our face. In Jesus' name. So we continue. So it said, that the robbers, they are secure into whose hand God bringeth abundantly. But it says this, but now ask the beast, and they shall teach thee in the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. It says, or speak to the earth, or it shall tell thee. And the fishes of the sea, Shall I declare unto thee, who knoweth not all these, that the hand of the Lord hath brought this, and whose hand is the soul ever living thing, and the breath of all mankind. So the earth actually has a voice, and the earth, the earth has eyes and has ears. You can speak to the earth. And this is what evil men and women do. They speak to the earth, and they use it to favor them. They use it to curse people. For example, if you want to Jeremiah, this is what the Lord calls his prodigies to do to one of the kings who um, decided not to you know, live for Christ. He wanted to worship idols and graven images. This is what <clears throat> the prophet of God said to him. Jeremiah 22, verse 29, 23, I mean 30. says, Is this man called not a despised broken idol? Is he a vessel? Where is no pleasure? Wherefore are they cast out he and his seed that are cast into a land which they know not? O oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of a seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David, ruling any more um, in Judah. So, yeah, wicked men and women that speak to the earth like this, and they tell it to do whatever they say it to do. You know, it'll fight you, and it'll fight uh, um, people, those that are of God, and it cause you to have hardship. It'll cause you to, it can pro they can probe the earth cause sickness and disease into your life, um, cause frustration, oppression, depression, they even cause the earth to speak death against you, you know, they can cause the ground to speak death against you, your family, your loved ones, your friends, so you're going around being chased by agents of death through people, through the spirit, the spirit of death is operating through people seeking to destroy you, so that is what's been going on to the children of God since I don't know how long it went, right? So, with that being said, let's go to the book of Joshua. So, you know, this is, Kaniah, he's actually doing the will of God right here. But people, since we're not, what we're supposed to be doing, we're not using using it to our advantage. We're supposed to speak to the earth. And we're supposed to, you know, it's supposed to um, favor us. It's supposed to give us an increase, overflow. It's supposed to use to um, favor us in job, career, finances, ministry, spiritual warfare, whatever it is. So let's go to the book of Ezekiel.
Ezekiel 37. So first of all, let's do this before we go down. Let's speak to so better. We're gonna say repeat that name. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're gonna say this. Just gonna say this, but repeat that the name. And then we're going to say this. Oh, earth, earth, earth. So we're going to say like that. We're going to say, by divine authority, according to the word, says, Oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. I command you to fight against any witch, any wizards, any household enemies, any domestic enemies, and any external external enemies that is that want to drunk in my destiny, they want to divert, to oppress, to afflict me or any of my lovers, Lord. I command the earth to fight them and to not favor them. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by divine authority that everything, every place is so they flip, let it work against them. And let, it, let them not prevail in anything that they do. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I deactivate. I deactivate and I deprogram. Any evil programming that has been programmed to the earth against me, to fight against me, to frustrate me, my lovers, whether it's our health, our finances, our life, our soul, our spirit, or our finances. By the divine authority, by the faith in Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command the earth to favor us in all areas, in, in, in finances, in job, in career, in spiritual warfare, in financial battle, in legal battle, in, in any in any aspect of the I decree and show favor me. And beloved, us, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. I'm going to say this. I decree and declare that the earth shall favor me and those can, can divinely connected to me. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. That the earth shall destroy any house or enemy, any any evil gathering against my life or any of my lovers. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare that every place that so do our foot, our enemies walk on, that they curse them in the name of Jesus. That they be cursed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. So if you go to Joshua, let's go to Joshua 1. I decree the earth shall prosper. I decree that we shall replenish everything that we touch. I decree the earth shall, shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Let's go to Joshua 1. Let me say this is right here. So you know, a lot of people won't receive this type of I mean, these type of um, you know, uh, this type of teaching. You know, I've I've stumbled to God in, in Matthew seven seven. The Lord said, "If you seek me, you shall find me." Um, ask, and it shall be um, ask, and it shall be um, given to you. Uh, open, knock on the door, and it shall be opened. So if you ask, and she, you shall receive. If you knock, and it shall be opened to you. If you see the Lord, you shall find. So I was seeking the Lord, and He's revealed to me a lot of things and people that have more wisdom to me. I don't know when I think about it. I don't even know how it started. I can't even remember how I stumbled upon it. God just, you know, led it in my way. So a lot of religious people look at this like that's evil what He's doing, but it's in the Bible. It's written, you know, how how can you say that with the word of sin is evil? So this is why we perish, because what we're supposed to be doing, the wicked are doing. So. How we're supposed to be prevailing, how we're supposed to prevail, they're prevailing, doing it in dubious means. They're not doing it out of the Holy Spirit. They're doing it out of witchcraft powers. So if you read Exodus 22, verse 18, it says, Thou shalt not suffer, which live. Anyone that say, um, anyone that sleep of the beast shall be, shall be, um, stoned, shall die. And anyone that sacrifice unto any god shall be utterly destroyed. So these are the type of people that are using what we're supposed to be using, um, you know, against us to, to keep us in bondage, affliction, sickness, disease, premature death, untimely death. So they can program to, you know, cause the earth to cause untimely death. So we did, and by the divine authority, we deactivate, we notify and cancel any programs on premature death, untimely death, and against our life, against our family, against our soul, against our spirit. We we, we deactivate and deprogram any evil sacrifice. We notify by the blood of Jesus Christ. And when you're resident in the name of Jesus Christ, and by the divine authority, when you're returning in the name of Jesus Back to sinners. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So Joshua 1. So this is when God was speaking to Joshua. He said, Now after the death of Moses, servant of the Lord came, unto pass, came to pass. The Lord spake unto Joshua. The son of Moses ministered, saying, Moses, 
my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, there and all these people into the land which I, I, I do give them, give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sword of your foot shall tread upon, that I have given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness and this land, and even unto the river, oh, sorry, into the great river, the river you face in all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea, the water going down the sun, shall be a coast. That there shall not a man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. So I will be with thee. So he said, As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. That I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. So we decree and declare every place of the sword of our foot, every place of the sword of our foot, every, we decree and declare, every place of the sword of our foot of our loins, we shall tread upon. We decree and declare, every place of the sword of our foot we tread upon, we shall be favored. And um, every predicament, every situation, we decree should be favored in job, career, ministry, business, ministry, um, relationships, marriage, spiritual battle, um, Legal battles. We decree and declare. The Lord shall fail. Every place is sold by foot. We shall be blessed. Wherever we go, our, our feet shall bless any grounds that we walk on. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare and decree. Every every place is sold by foot. That we tread upon. We shall tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt us. I'm quoted on Luke 10 19. He said, You should. He said, Behold, I give unto you power. Power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt you. So we decree and declare every place of the sword of our foot that we tread upon, and all those that connect to me, that we should crush the head of every every witch, we should crush the head of every wizard that arises of us against it. We decree and declare it shall die with the finger of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that we should find favor in, in the sight of kings, in the sight of our enemies, in the sight of, and we declare any eye that lays eyes on us shall favor us in Jesus' name. That is our portion. In Jesus' name, we decree and declare. Even in front of the wilderness, we shall find favor. Even in the wilderness, we shall find favor. And into the great river, and the river Euphrates, and all the land of the Hittites, and into the great sea, to where the going down of the sun shall be our coast. Let the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare that there shall not be any man to stand before me, and my lovers, and my friends, my lovers, and my um, associates, uh, even destiny helpers, and even church family. We decree and let up, put whoever you in it that you want. And we decree and declare in faith. That the Lord shall be with us. He, that we decree and declare that the Lord will not fail us, nor forsake us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let's go to the next one. So let's go to the book of Joshua 10, 11. So one thing. So one thing the enemy's trying to do right now. He's doing all he can. Since I know, since I'm walking in the light and I'm not doing what I used to. He's doing pretty much anything. Man, look, this dude just hit the car. Wow. This man just hit the car. This dude tried to park next to me and hit the car. Didn't even need to park next to me. So that's what I mean. One day the enemy is so high level on. And I recorded that too. So I definitely, if you ask me the instant, the person, the pest control hit the car. That's a hit and run. <laughs> But uh, anyways, um, the enemy loves to distract. He wants to distract. He wants to derail. He wants your attention to be on him. He wants to frustrate you. He doesn't want you to speak the word. He doesn't want you to focus on him. He wants you to lose your train of thought when it comes to prayer. He wants you to lose your, He wants you to get sleepy when it comes to reading the Bible. So just know. So that God actually probably prevented that so he couldn't even, you know, part next one. Because, you know, the enemy can pretty much use anyone to, you know, that watch you. It's called monitoring. So you can send monitoring spirits against you. They, they they basically can jump in any person and monitor you. They can cause uh you know, um a man to come out of his door, out of his house to monitor him. He can be taken out of the trash. A demon can you know, you know remember, spirits can jump through bodies. They can jump it don't matter if they're in church, they can jump through people in the church as well. So it doesn't matter if if in the church saying hallelujah, glory to God. Uh, even a preacher, the demons can hop into the, through the preacher, and he can still speak the word of God. Doesn't mean that he has the Holy Spirit within him. So, I mean, the Lord, that's what the Lord said. You know, the many, many will come uh, as Jesus Christ and be many false prophets and apostles. And this is in Revelations as well. He said, for they are raving the wolves. You know, um, he said, that's why he said, test the spirit behind these people. Yeah, these people, that's, that's, that's preachers, but they were evil associations. They were evil. They had cahoots for evil, um, you know, associations. And um, so, 
and they don't even speak what we, the, the people in the church need to hear. So they're actually leading the people in the congregation to the pit of destruction. So um, that's the downfall of it. And these preachers will be held accountable for it. <clears throat> and, uh, so let's go to Joshua 10. So this is, if you read about Joshua 10, 11, Joshua and the children of Israel were fighting against the enemies, the Amorites. And the Lord caused the sun and the moon to fight for them. So these are the elements, like I said, which was them. God has given us the um the domain to cause the elements to work in our favor, but we don't do it. There's people doing it, but it's not world it's not known as much as it should be. Because remember the Lord wants to keep people blind and deaf and dumb and the veil to remain over eyes. He wants he wants you to have closed ears, uh, dark eyes. And that's what he said. It says in um Isaiah, he said I would, he said, I will give these people heavy eyes, dull ears, and uh, you know, I'll make their heart fat. So people with pride, people with dark eyes, they can't see the spiritual things. They can't, they, they hear, but they do not perceive. They have a heart, but they don't understand. They have eyes, but they don't see. So let's, let's go to Joshua 10. Um, it says, verse 11, it says this. And it came to pass as they fled from before Israel and were, and they're going down, and they're going down to Bethlehem, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven unto, um, upon them to Ezekiel, and they died. They were more which died by hailstones that they honed the children of Israel, stupid the swore, and spake Joshua to the Lord. In the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, that he said and said to Israel, Son, son, said I said upon Gibeon, the moon in the valley of Ajalon. Hold on one second. I think the enemies attacked my throat. Hold on. I ain't got nothing to drink again. Yeah, it's a short sting in my tongue. In my throat. Hmm. I'm thinking any much to do. I'm about to go to it. And I'm just going to drink. Fun to me. With the enemy be done. With enemies. Special with enemies to be exact. Right. And so then, we'll come to the show. It says, And he said, And he said, That Israel's son, who said, This may judge to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said and said to Israel, Son, son, son stand up, sit up and give me him at their moon in the valley of Ejelon. So he caused the sun and the moon to fight for children of Israel and Joshua. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves before the enemies. It's not just written into the book of Joshua. So the sun stood still, and hastened not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before nor after that the Lord hearkened to the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel, and Joshua returned. And all of Israel with them into the camp of Gilgal. But these five kings fled and hid themselves in the cave of Makkah. It's right there. That's proof right there. I'm not reading out of anything else. It's the book. I'm not reading out of any Harry Potter book. I'm not reading it out of anything but the Bible. So you can't say, you can't speak that I'm not, you can't say that I'm being, you know, evil. This is what the truth, this is, this is, this is what's here. So, you can go YouTube it. How people program your day. Speak to the sun and moon. It's the, but don't be a witch. You have people that, you know, praise the moon and the sun. And I'm a scripture in that. I might be able to find it. But just know that the scripture goes like this. He said, uh, look, look, dig a hole in the wall and see the um the abominations that you do. And I said, uh, you know, uh, I said something like the... Uh, they, 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 they turn, the people in the church, they turn, they all, it's 520 men, and all their, f um, backs are faced away from the, um, the, um, church, and they're facing the east, towards the sun, so, there's no, we have people, that are in the church that, that's really in the other church, of Christ, so, let's, let's this is what we're gonna say, we're gonna say, brought it in the name of Jesus Christ, matter of fact, before we even get to that part, let's read another one. Let's read Isaiah 47. Let's read Isaiah 47 before we do another prayer. Before we do another prayer, we're going to do it. So you have people that suffering still. You know, they go to church as a, as, a, as a faithful servant, and they're still suffering. Because there's something attacking them, they're not blocking it. It's, like, it's, it's just like in a boxing match. You know, um, the, 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 the coach is telling you to attack them. Or some new skill, or new knowledge to try to block up for defense, but 
who you're fighting, he's doing, he's using something that you don't even recognize he's doing. It's speed, it could be his footwork. You don't, you're not paying attention to it. So the same thing with his the knowledge. You know, if you can do this, you can be doing this with all your heart, all your soul, praising God with all your might. But the enemy's still doing something or using something that you don't know of against you. So Isaiah 47, let's read the first scripture and then we're going to go to the 12th. It said, uh, Come down, sit in the dust of a virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. But thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the milestones and ground male, and cover the locks, and make bitter leg, and cover the pad, and cover the, um, the thigh. Pass it with the rubbers, and thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Uncovered. And thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a lamb. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is named the, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. And for that you know what be called the Lady of Kingdoms. So let's scroll down to. So it said, And thou said that I should be a lady forever. So thou didst not lay these things to heart. Um, neither did this remember the latter end of it. Therefore, hear now this. There are given the pleasures that dwellers carelessly, that says in the heart, I am none else behind, beside me. Which is a witch. The people that think they're above God and people around I should not sit as a widow. Neither should I know the loss of children. It says, But these two things shall come to thee in the moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection. For the multitude of thy sorceries, for, for the great abundance of thy enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, and thou hast said, Unseed me. Thy wisdom, thy knowledge, it had perverted thee. And thou hast said, Thou art I am, and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, and thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. So the Lord will cause the wickedness to come upon the wickedness. In the book, it says, Evil shall slay the wicked. So it says, And mischief shall fall upon thee, and thou shalt not be able to put it off. So even the wisdom wizard won't be able to put off the wickedness that the Lord will bring upon them. Even the same thing that they can start with, he will cause that to come back around and destroy them and to terrorize them. And they say, And thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand, stand now with thy enchantments, with the multitude. Um, of thy sorcery, you want to write it from thy youth. If so, be thou shall be able to profit. If so, be thou mayest prevail. So, he said, even though astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators won't even be able to save you from these things. So, behold, this should be a stubble. Then, the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save you from these things that should come upon thee. So, behold, this should be a stubble. The fire should burn them. They should not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There should not be a cold woman, nor a father sitting forth. So we declare and decree by the divine authority. We command the sun and the moon. Um, before we say that, we're going to say, we're going to just say this. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, any bitch, any wizard, any evil man or woman that is using any elements against my life, against my family, against our health, against our virtue, against our glory, against our star. Let's say it again. Father Lord, any evil man or woman, any which was that is using the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, to fight against me and my family, what is and my loved ones, my friends, my social, and even destiny helpers. What is our, our, our health? What is our finances, our ministry, our job, our career, our marriage, our family, our soul? In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That there be a stubble in the name of Jesus Christ. That there be a stubble in the name of Jesus. That there be a stubble. That there don't be burned by the fire in the name of Jesus Christ. That don't be burned by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, it says this. So the, the fire should burn them, they should not deliver themselves for the power of the flame. And they should not have a coat on it, nor a second fire to sit before. So with the grin of God, this should be as stubble by, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. So now with that being said, let's go to number 23, bro. So remember, he said, stand now with the enchantments of the multitude. Number 23. So it says, this is about Balaam and Balak. You know, um, Balak tried to get Balaam to curse the children of Israel because they were, you know, they were like the sand and the sea. And he was afraid. Now well, let's read just so you get an example. And they said, Balaam said, Balak, stand by that, stand, verse 3, stand by that burnt offering, and I will go greater than you. The Lord will come. The Lord will come, meet me, and whatsoever he shows me, I will tell thee. And he went to, and he said, and he went to in high place. So the high places, right? And God met Balaam, and he said unto him, I prepared the seven altars, and I offer upon every altar a bullock and a ram. So they're not sacrificing the Lord, they're sacrificing unto a false god. And the Lord put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Return unto Balak, and thus shall thou speak. 
And he returned to him, and he stood by his burnt sacrifice, he, he and all the princes of Moab. And he took her the parable and said, But that the king of Moab hath brought me a ram out of the mountains of the east, saying, Come curse me, Jacob. Saying, he's, he's still trying to fight Jacob. No, that was Joshua. So this is Jacob. So the, the Lord named Jacob Israel. He said, they said, Come curse me, Jacob, and come defy Israel. And, the, and it says this, And Balaam was saying, How should I curse whom God hath not cursed? Or how, or how should I defy? Whom the Lord hath not defied. He said, for the, for, for the top of the rocks, I see him before the hills. Behold, him lo, the people shall dwell alone and, and shall not be reckoned among the nations. So we do can declare that none of us should be reckoned among the nations. Our families and the body of Christ, we should not be reckoned among the nations. We are the, by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the redemptive blood, by the grace of God, we are, we are excluded from the reckoning of the nations in Jesus' name, according to the covenant of Christ that we have. In Jesus' name, amen. So how should I curse whom God had not cursed? Or how should I defy whom the Lord had not defied? Say, so who can count the dust of Jacob and the number of the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous. Let my end, let my last end be like the, his. So um, let's go to number 22. Just so you get a better understanding. So let's go to number 22. It says this. So this. He sent messengers therefore unto Balaam, the son of Beor, to Bethel, which is by the river of the land, and the river of the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, Behold, and there's the people come out from Egypt. Behold, they cover the face of the earth, and they abide over against me. So he was looking at them as a threat. So they said, They abide over the earth. And said, they are, and said Come down, therefore, I pray thee, curse me, this people, for they are too mighty for me. Here but adventure I shall prevail, that he may smite them. And. And that I may draw them out of the land, for I want that he whom thou blesses is blessed, and he whom thou curses is cursed. So the Lord is saying, those who try to curse any child of God, any person that's of Christ, they should be cursed. But anyone that will bless a child of God shall be blessed. And he even says it in Genesis 12, 3. Before I go there, let's go, let's finish. Let's skip down to 19. It says, God is not a man that he should lie. So in all these scriptures that I'm saying, God is not a man that he should lie. And it says this in 19. God is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he shall repent. Had he said, and shall he not do it, or hath he spoken? Shall he not make it good? Behold, I am received commandment to bless, which Balaam is saying, because Balak keeps trying to entice him with gold and silver to get him to curse Israel. I said, um, he has blessed, and I cannot reverse. So we decree and declare that we are blessed, our family are blessed. We decree our life is blessed. Our love is, um, that there be everyone connected to us, or the, um, that we are ordained to be connected to. I decree and I declare in faith that we are blessed, and no devil can reverse it, no power, no witch, no wizard can reverse the blessing of the Lord over our life, and all those connected concern us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree our finances shall be blessed, our health is blessed, our future, our soul is blessed, our spirit is blessed. We decree and declare that our food shall be blessed, our drinks shall be blessed. And it says in Revelation, the Lord shall bless your food, he shall bless your bread. Bless your word, he should take sickness away. So we decree and supernatural blessings is our portion on all sides. Favor and blessings in job, career, blessings in ministry, blessings in family, blessings in um, all around blessings in Jesus' name, territorial blessings. We decree and declare the blessing of, of um, to walk in a supernatural, to walk in, in boldness and authority in Jesus' name. Amen. Said uh, God brought them out. Said uh, he has not beheld any iniquity. And Jacob, neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord, God is the Lord, his God is with him, and the shadow of a king is among them. God brought them up out of Egypt, and he had as it were the strength of a unicorn. So we declare that through the Lord Jesus Christ, we sh we shall have a strength to have that, have the strength of a unicorn, in Jesus' name. It says this: God brought them out of Egypt. And he, oh, let's go now. Say there. It says, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what had God wrought? Behold, the people shall rise up as a great lion, and shall lift themselves up as a young lion, and he shall not lie down to the eat of the prey, and to drink the blood of the land. So we declare and decree that there is no enchantment against our families, our lovers, that shall prosper. We declare that no divination shall ever prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. So we declare that by the blood of Jesus Christ, we will all the void, impotent, powerless, every enchantment, every divination, any um, incantations. Being uttered against our families, uttered against our health, our life, our destiny, our soul, our spirit, our finances, our ministry, our destiny, our future. We declare the eight twenty and all of what by the blood of Jesus. But you're right, that evil, and according to Isaiah 15, 4, 17. 
We decree and declare no weapon fetch point against us shall prosper. May every tongue that rise up against us in evil and curses and spells, um, witchcraft words, ritualistic words, occult words. We condemn it and we run away. Null of void, impotent, powerless by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the blood of Jesus But you're about to it, evil. But you're about to it. 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 Back to sender. In the name of Jesus, Zekede Makada Kada Kada Bada Daba Rama Zekede Kede Kede Rama Sada Bada Kada Bada Daba. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. And if you don't condemn it, that's when it prospers. So a lot of people say, "No, what? Fast point of so surprise." But you keep it silent. As long as you keep my mouth closed, it will prosper. Words have power. Proverbs eighteen twenty one says, "Definitely life is in the power of the tongue, and those that love it will eat the fruit of it." So make sure you speak in life. Make sure you, 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 you counteract whatever is being spoken against you. So this is the same thing I was in Isaiah 47. And he said, stand out in the multitude of thy enchantments. He's, this is what the Lord is saying to a wicked witch. Say, you know, the, you and, and the evil that I will bring upon you, you will not be able to take it, put it off. You will be stubble. Those astrologers, those monthly prognosticators that are able to predict what happens in the next month. You know, astrology is part of zodiac signs. They're able to predict what, how you're going to be in life. The palm reading, the tea leaf reading, all these are abominations. So the, they, they will, it will be the, their portion. They will be stubborn for the fire. They, they will be burnt. they consumed by the Lord God Almighty in His wrath. So with that being said, let's go to the book of... Um, let's go to Isaiah. Um, let's go to Isaiah... 54. Let's see what Isaiah 54. Because I still want to see it. After you, so if you go to 57, actually, Isaiah 57 says, The righteous perisheth, and no man layeth it to heart, and, and the merciful men are taken away. None considering that the righteous is taken away. So, foolishly, you know, just like when Jesus was taken out, if Satan would have never did that. If he would have known what would have been the glory of God, he arose with power, authority. Um, honor, glory, wisdom, strength. You know, they then he has eternal life now. So it says the righteous perishes. So we perish, the righteous perish. Are taken out of the way, not considering that the righteous is taken away from the, the evil to come. The evil to come. Said he shall enter into peace. So we declare that we shall enter into peace. I declare and declare that we shall rest in our beds, each one of us walking in uprightness in Jesus' name. But draw hither, ye sons of the sorcerers, the seed of the adulterer and the whore. Babylon, if you read, remember. Isaiah 40, 47, the beginning, come down, sit down the dust, O oh, um, daughter of Babylon. But draw here, and said, um, the seed of the daughter and the whore, against whom do ye support yourselves? Against whom make ye a wild mouth and draw out the tongue? Are ye not the children of transgression, a seed of falsehood, and flame yourselves with idols, of the every green tree, slain the children in the valleys under the coast of the rocks? And when the smooth stones of the stream, at a portion, they, that they are the lot, even to them that has poured a drink offering, that thou has offered a meat offering. Shall I receive comfort in these, and put a lofty in the high mountain? Thou shalt sit up, sit up in, even thither, went, whither went is up, to offer sacrifice. Behind the doors, also in the post, as thou set, set, set up the remembrance, but thou hast discovered thou, thyself to another another than me. And art gone up, and, and, and has enlarged thy bed, and made thee a covenant with them. And thou lovest the bed where thou sawest it. And thou went to the king with ointment, and didst increase thy perfumes for the flattery, for, for the flattery, for the enticing. And didst send the messengers far, far off, and didst debase thyself even unto hell. There are where in the greatness of thy way. Yet saidest thou not, there is no hope, and thou hast found the, the life of thy hand. Therefore, thou wast not grieved. Of whom hast thou been afraid or feared? Thou hast, thou hast lied. And has not remembered me, no laid it to the heart. Have not I held my peace even of old to the Lord saying, Have I not held my peace even you you when they do all this wickedness? So and thou fearest me not, I will declare thy righteousness and thy works for they shall not profit thee. When thou cries that thy companies deliver thee to the Lord saying, That all those that, that you consult with, those 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 spirits, those spells, those curses, those demons that you consult with, and it said, Let the, consult with them to deliver you. But the wind shall carry them carry them all the way. And vanity shall take them, but he that putteth his trust in me shall possess the land, and shall, shall inherit my holy mountain. And shall say, Cash ye up, cash ye up, prepare the way. Take the stomach block out of the way of my people. For thus said the, said the high and lofty one that inhabit of eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the holy and um, holy place with him also. That is a contrary and humble spirit. So the, the children of God have a contrary and a humble spirit. 
to for the Lord will revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the country. So we're going to go with the Korean declare in faith that the Lord shall revive us, our homes, our life, our cities, our family, our lovers, our friends, our spouse, our connections, our destiny of us, and our church family, not all that is we're supposed to meet in Jesus' name. It said, for I will contend, I will not contend, I will neither will I always be wrong. So the Lord is a God of mercy as well. He will always forgive a person when they turn away. You know, his forgiveness is is incomprehensible, uncomprehensible. Said so for the spirit of should fail before me, with the souls which I have made for the iniquity of his covetousness was my wrath. I smote him, I hid me, and I was wrath. He went on frowly in the way of his heart, and I have seen his ways, and I will heal him. I will lead him also, and restore comfort unto him and to his mourners. I create, it says it, I create the fruit of his lips. Peace, peace to him that is far off, and to him that is near. Said the Lord, and I will heal him. The Lord will heal us. After he smited, after he chastised, as he wounded. Well, you know, consequences. Child, if he chastised, then he cares for you. If a person is doing things that's not right, and it's nothing happening to him, they're not his. They're the devil's bones. So, but the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest. So remember, the Lord said, the rest, there's no peace, no rest for the wicked. So just right. But the wicked are like the troubled sea where they cannot rest, whose waters cast out the mind and dirt, where there's no peace, said, said to my God. The God to the wicked, so it's no peace. We declare, we declare, declare, no rest, no peace to any wicked man or woman that is, that is, that is, um, meaning is hurt, that means is hurt or alumnus or anything connected to it. We declare, declare, that they, they shall have no rest, no peace in Jesus' name. In Job 22, verse 28, it says, You should decree a thing, it is, shall be established. So it should be established that our enemies, any wicked adversary, unrepentant enemy, that means they have no mercy for you, they don't have any space in their heart to stop what they're doing. They want to cause you pain, afflict, they want to kill you, destroy you. They want to see you fail. They want to see you in affliction all your life. A poor poverty. We do going to declare. It's no rest, no peace for, for our adversaries. And any unrepentant enemy, whether external or domestic, in Jesus' name. Amen. No rest in the name of Jesus Christ. No peace in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. So let's go to Isaiah 8. Isaiah 8. Verses 9 it says, Associate yourselves, all ye people, and ye should be broken in pieces. Give ear, all ye of foreign countries. Gird yourselves, ye should be broken in pieces. Give ear, all ye of foreign countries. Gird yourselves, ye should be broken in pieces. Sorry. Gird yourselves, ye should be broken in pieces. I think say it twice. Take counsel together, wicked counsel to be exact. It is shall come and not speak the word, it is shall not stand. For the Lord God is with us. So we decree and declare any evil association that is binding themselves together. To try to destroy, kill, steal, whatever it is. Whatever it is, my family, our friends, our blessings, our inheritance, our future, our health, our virtues, our glory, our star, our grace, our anointing. Um, or anything that God has in store for me, my family, my friends, our family, our loved ones, our associates, and even our destiny of us, ordained spouses. We decree and declare, it should be broken to peace in the name of Jesus. We decree that even which your witches should be broken, that it be broken, that it be broken. Broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. Let it be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, it says this. All ye foreign countries, guard yourself. You should be broken. We decree. All those that give ear from foreign countries shall be broken to pieces. Let it be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. And now it says this. Amen. Take counsel together, and it shall come and not. So be the word, and it shall not stand. For God is with us. So we decree and declare that any wicked counsel, whether external or domestic, whether far or close, whether the um, any priest, priest, which is the ages of darkness, any unfriendly friend, any Hammond, Herod, Jezebel, we decree and declare that, that, that counsel should come to nothing in the name of Jesus. We decree that counsel should come to not in the name of Jesus. It shall come to not in the name of Jesus. Any wicked counsel against me, my life, my friends, my associates, my lovers, my wife, my family, my mother, my sister, and, and my relatives, we decree that is, it shall come to nothing. It shall be put to shame. It shall fail in the name of Jesus Christ. And it says this, speak the word and it shall not sin. So we decree that any evil words, any ritualistic words, any evil words, any curse words, any ill will spoken against me or whatever, you know, anything that's concerned, we decree and declare, it shall not stand. We decree and declare faith. It shall not stand in the name of Jesus. It shall not stand in the name of Jesus. For the Lord God is with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Let's go to the next scripture. 
let's go to the book of Isaiah 44. Isaiah 44, 24. It says this. I said, uh, as I said, the Lord, the Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I'm the Lord that maketh all things that stretches for the heavens alone. So the Lord stretches the heavens alone. That spreadeth the broad earth by myself, that frustrated the tokens of the lions, and make it divine as man, that turneth wise men back from, and make it their knowledge foolish. So, remember, divine is those that are into that do divination. You know, monthly prognosticators, they can predict the months that's, div that's divine. They can look into the, that's the that's a, they have the spirit of divination, and that's part of the new age. That's, a, that's really occultism. So, the Lord shall destroy them. <clears throat> So Satan can use these type of people to frustrate a family, a city, a state, a country, a town, or people that's in the body of Christ to not fulfill their purpose. So he can frustrate your plans. So you never fulfill your purpose. So Buddha can declare any lie oh Lord, Buddha Creek Father, let that let divine let lies and divine meditate against our life, our future, our destiny, our soul, our health, our virtues, our glory, our star, our loved ones, our family, our friends, our associates. My colleagues, oh, and then they then they be frustrated, and then they my Jesus, be decree. They shall be frustrated, that they be frustrated, that they be frustrated, that they be frustrated, that they be frustrated, and then they my Jesus Christ, that they be turned backward, 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 and then they my Jesus, and then they not turn into foolishness, be decree, and decree. They not to be turned into foolishness to. Foolishness, that it be turned to foolishness in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. So let's go to the book. So let's go to the book of Revelation. Revelation. Um, too. So, this doesn't matter. You know, when you try to go, this is not a color thing. This is about a covenant. This is about, it's, it goes into the covenant and faith of who you are in Christ. So, you can be Asian, you can be Chinese, you can be white, you can be Arabian, you can be Ethiopian, you can be um, African, you can be Jamaican, Irish, uh, it's the, whatever the nationality is, if you're trying to go, this is the enemy is against you, literally. I mean, really, he's against anyone, even the people that's doing wickedness. He's against them. He's just using them as like remote controls. So even after he uses them, he's going to destroy them as well. Once God opens the, the open the door, after the Lord is done using them for His purpose, um, even the Lord is using them, even as the Satan is using them, He will destroy them. He will allow Satan to destroy them. Amen. Literally, like, destroy them all the way. So, it says this, verses 2, it says, um, let's go to the book of, let's go to um, verse 2, it says, look, I know that works, I know that works, and I labor in our patience. And this is directed to the children of God. I know your works, I know your patience, and how you cannot bear them, because you are evil. And the devil has dried them, which to say they are apostles, and, are not, and has found the lies. And has born, has patience, and for thy name's sake, has labor, and has not fainted. So the Lord said, Not to faint, that not shall not be faint. So if anyone faint during adversity, they have no strength, the Lord says. Said, uh, Nevertheless, I have, I have, I have somewhat against you because thou hast um, left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence art thou art fallen, and repent, and do the works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and I will remove thy candlestick out of his face. Like so they repent. So the Lord is saying, a lot of us have, you know, we started off hot for the Lord. We started off, you know, uh, you know, dedicated to the Lord. Waking up every morning saying thank you. Even to the night, we pray before we go to sleep. We worship through the, in the day. We worship during the during the noonday, the morning, the evening, and the night. And uh, some of us have wax cold. The Lord said in the last days, people will wax cold. You know, they they will lose their love for Christ. They will grow, grow cold. <clears throat> so, so that's this. So the Lord said, I will take your candlestick. And he said, unless you go back and repent and come back to me, or remove your candlestick out of this place, instead of repent. But this is this. But this thou has, but this thou has, that thou hatest the deeds of Nicolaitis, which also I hate. He that had the air, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. 
To him that overcometh will I give, give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. So the tree of life is the word. And unto the angel of the church, the smith, write these things, said the first and the last, which was dead and, that, and is alive. When you resurrected in Christ, you are now alive. And I, and I know their works in tribulation and poverty. So the children of God, as the world goes, you know, go moves forward. We are we're gonna be going through a tribulation. It's called a great tribulation that will be going on on earth. Anyone that's not going through anything, they're pretty much like they're not uh, you know, they're not doing what God wants them to do. They're just they're just living like they're just doing anything they want to do. But the self's desires whatever it may be. So, um to him that overcomes will I give to eat at that tree of life. Said um I know that words in tribulation and poverty, but there are rich, and I know, I know that blasphemy. This is what he's saying to the rich. I know that blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, and they're not but of a synagogue of Satan. <clears throat> said, Fear not of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. So, you know, you know, you have a lot of people that are cast in prison, and even other type of prisons. Uh, the Lord said, You be cast here, you'll be tested for your faith. He said, uh, be thou faithful unto death, the Lord is saying, that I will give thee a crown of life. Be faithful unto death, just as Jesus was. He that hath the ill in him here, what the Spirit said unto the church, he that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. So we will not, some of us will not be hurt from the second death. For us that overcome, said unto the angel of the church in Pergamos, write these things, said that which had the sharp sword with the two edges. I know thy works and where thou dwellest. Be one saint, see this, that they hold fast my name. And has not denied my faith, even in those days when an Antipas was my faithful martyr. A martyr means you die for Christ. John the Baptist died for Christ in prison. His head was cut off. And that's because he wasn't a war fan. He was very righteous, but he didn't believe. He wasn't, uh, he didn't, he didn't have the, the mantle of Elijah. Elijah was a war fan person. When you don't warfare, you just, you know, that's like you, you know, you pray gentle. And all you do is, you know, gentle prayer. Lord, keep me, protect me. Lord, open these new doors for my, 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 my boy, for my wife. And, um, you know, you know, you have an enemy that's relentless. You have to be relentless as well. If you don't, it's going to come up. It's going to come up. So he didn't know. He was righteous. He was one of them. It was one of God's favorite sermons in the whole Bible. But he didn't have the zeal of Elijah. He didn't have the mantle of Elijah. And Elijah was strong, powerful. And he defeated the prophets of Baal. <laughs> You had to constant. You had to be strong in the Lord. You had to operate in supernatural Holy Ghost power. You had to enforce it. You know, you can't be still. You can't be quiet. You can't be like I'm yelling. I'm, 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 you scream these scriptures out like a, like a dog. You had to. So it says, uh, but I have a few things against thee because thou hast them that hold the doctrine of Balaam. Remember number 23. Of Balaam who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel. Remember you know, he said, come curse me, Jacob, and defile Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. So you have people that, you remember, when you, when you go out to eat, you have people that's just eating everywhere, right? Even rich people. They eat from all these fancy places. These people think they, you know, they live in their best life, right? But they're not walking in the spirit. So uh, they eating from they eating food that's sacrificed unto idols, and they're eating curses. So, you know, these Chinese people, I'm not even trying to be racist, but I'm going to name everyone. Chinese people, African people, um, Indian, um, London. I'm just going to name any. Any Mexican, you know, whatever the nationality is, they're sacrificing the food unto idols. Jamaicans, Liberians, Ethiopians. It doesn't matter what. If anyone that's not in Christ, they're praying to something else. They're not the atheists. They just mean they don't pray anything. But if they're not in Christ, they're, they're sacrificing it to something else. Just like we pray and we bless our food in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is sacrificing that food to something else, and they put it in a market. They serve it to you in a restaurant or a Chinese place. And uh, just like when you go to a Chinese place, you see the, the graven image in the, um, the Buddha man or, or the monk, the big belly. That's a graven image. The Lord is against those. So the Lord said he will destroy their graven images and their monster images and their idols, and he will destroy those that praise those things. So the Lord said, uh, you cause my children to, be, to stumble. So we stumble by eating cursed food. We don't know. So that's why it's so important to bless your food. Because you don't know what was prayed into it. A concussion is called a concussion. Uh, that's called evil food, evil drink. That's called an evil caterer. So it's evil caterers everywhere. 
That's witchcraft. So, um, you can, they can pretty much program death and food. They can program sickness and disease, untimely death, into the food and the drink. So, you know, you had to use the blood of Jesus Christ to flush out any spiritual pollution. And, you know what, we cancel and flush out any evil programming of premature death, sickness and disease out of my body, out of my soul, from any evil food or drink. We notify by the blood of Jesus Christ. Drink this, the blood of Jesus Christ. Let it be notified. And Jesus, and so you have people that went to sleep and died when, because the person they don't know that they ate a certain food from somewhere when someone made a concussion to their drink or the food. Now that person breaking out with HIV and AIDS, they didn't even have you know, unprotected sex. And the person, the, the devil used, cursed the food and he went out and ate it. And the food could have been a thousand dollars. It could have been calamari. It could have been um, oct squid, octopus. It could have been Jamaican food. And we ate the, 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 the uh, what's it called, what's the, the, Jamaican, the favorite dish in Jamaican food, all we eat. Um, I'm in a brain fart, but we know the rice, the beans, the plankton, and all that, right? So they can put a concussion and curse it. So you got to be careful in these last days where, where, where we go. It's best that we just make our own food and learn how to grow, to be honest. And um, so said, uh, you, you cause my children to commit um, um, unto idols and commit fornication. So, uh, so has thou also done that hold the doctrine of Nicola Titus, which saying, I hate, repent or else. I will come unto thee quickly, that I will fight against them which, this, which um, against them with the word, with the sword of my mouth. He that hath the air that on him with the spirit saith unto the churches, to him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, and then a stone of a new name written, which no man knoweth, save me he that receiveth it. And let's go down. It says, I know thy works. I know that charity and service and faith and thy patience and thy works. And the last to be more than the first. And the Lord will make the last the first and the first that to be last in his life. And now it said, I have a few things against thee. Because thou suffers that woman Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. I gave her space to repent of fornication, of a fornication. And she repent not. They would have a cast into a bed, and then that commit adultery with her into a great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill the children with death, and, and all the churches shall know that I am he, which searches the reins and hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. So everything they be doing on this earth, whether it was good or bad, that's what we will receive. Or if it's evil, you will receive a hundredfold of it. But as unto you, I say unto the rest of the desert, as many have not this doctrine, which have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon none other burden. But that which ye have already hold that fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my word unto the end, to him will I give power over the, the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron as vessels of powder, shall he be broken to shivers, even as I receive my father. I will give him the morning song. He that hath the air, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. So that's what I got for you guys today. God bless. I declare and decree. It is well with you. Receive it in faith. Your blessing is going in. Your blessing is going out. I declare and decree. Deuteronomy 28 over you. And that's what I got. I'll be back. Peace.